Okay, crumps. That is bomb. Oh my god. Hey Navy, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Y'all are probably shocked by this video, to be honest. It's been so long since I've done a hair video. Y'all know ever since I had a baby, hair has been on the back burner, <laughs> to say the least. So, I don't know, I just had this urge to do my hair on camera today, y'all, because I have to do it anyways, and I was like, why not just set up the camera? Y'all see, I'm just chilling in my little office area, and I'ma let y'all be a part of the process. Um, I was gonna be doing this anyways. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Um, it's literally, yeah, it's one o'clock right now. Um, my flight is early in the morning, so the plan is to put these heatless crimps into my sewing. As y'all can see, I have a sewing. Um, if you've been following my lupus journey, it's been a lot. I just took my faux locks in. I mean, I just took my faux locks out. <laughs> And let's talk about the faux locks takedown process and how it's literally hell. Why does no one talk about this? Like a disaster. But anyways, took my faux locks out, got a sew in because I wanted to feel like a bad bitch. And here we are. Um, I did have my hair curled and brushed out, but what I'm gonna do is go in with my blow dryer and kind of just straighten it out so that it doesn't like alter the, um, pattern of the braids that I'm gonna put in if that makes sense um I just want to start on a I didn't want to wash it and then blow dry it and do all that because my hair is clean I literally just washed it before I got this installed so anyways I'm gonna take y'all with me through it while I'm doing it so I'm not sitting here just talking because y'all know your girl likes to talk but when I get to the top I don't know if I can tell but I feel like all that edge control that I usually put on it starts to get like a little like flaky on my scalp so I'm gonna like kind of wash my edges and re-blow dry that when I get to it. I want like a carefree look for my little weekend vacation. I can flip it over to the side. I have a deep side part obviously, but like my point is I'm trying something new. This is my first time doing it and I'm doing it on camera. So we gonna see how it turns out. Y'all, why is my OG favorite mousse bottom of the barrel? Look how embarrassing that is. It's literally like none left. I'm so mad. And I went to Target. I don't know how I feel about Target lately because they really just haven't been, they haven't been meeting my expectations as of lately. Like the last three times I've been walking to get something, walk out without it. Like what's good Target? I don't know how to feel about that. So with that being said, all they have was this olive oil mousse. I don't know. Let me know if y'all have used it before. Um, I'm gonna test it out today. We're about to find out together. But just so y'all know, this is the one that I usually stick with. I love, 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 love this mousse. Like, it just does the job every time. I'm low-key going to use the rest of what's in here until it runs out because I'm just like that. So y'all, literally all I'm about to do is just make it a little damp, not soaking wet. Cause first of all, like I said, I'm taking this out. Wait, did I tell y'all? I'm gonna be taking this out <laughs> probably at like 1 a.m. Because I won't have time in the morning. And your girl trying to look a little cute at the airport. I don't wanna go in there with braids. So anyways, taking it out in approximately 12 hours. And then I'm gonna take my mousse, slide that bad boy on there, and we're gonna braid it like really, really tight, you guys, because I had to put some over here because I put a little bit too much. Um, comb it through so this all throughout it. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> talking through this like I've done it before, but I mean, I've done it on my natural hair multiple times. Like I know what a braid out does, so. Let's see. Um, and I'm gonna braid it like really tight. And that way I have more control over how I style it. Like the tighter I braid it, I feel like I can comb it out to make it bigger, you know, fluff it out afterwards. But if I do it too loose and it's just 
a complete disaster. Like, there's nothing I can really do. So, yeah. We're just gonna get to writing. And you can see my sections are like, I would say I'm gonna I'm do them medium, you know, not too small, not too big. Smaller in the back, but like as I go up, I'm gonna do them medium. So, yeah. And that's the only product I'm putting in it. I don't wanna weigh the weave down, I don't wanna overdo it with product, none of that. Um, oh, and I almost forgot, I'm gonna put rubber bands on the ends too. You could do like a little perm rod, but I don't want the curl pattern to be drastically different, so I'm gonna just put rubber bands. Hold up, let me play my music. I'm gonna go faster, depending on what I play. If I play some slow Thames, you know, I might be chilling, vibing, but I got things to do, I gotta pack. I gotta go to the gym. I gotta pack up kites and stuff for when I leave. I got things to do, so we gonna play some little Baby. We gonna play some Gunna. You feel me? <laughs> she banking on me on the bank. So it's turning out pretty good so far. I feel like this part right here could get a little tricky because I do have layers in my weave. So I have to like section it strategically because then the ends, if not, the ends are gonna be like weird or harder to um, braid like all the way to the end. And by the way, y'all, this mousse doesn't seem too bad. Like it smells really good. Um, I'll just have to wait for the actual results though to see about the hold, but it's lightweight as should any mousse be, but I don't know, it smells good, so <laughs> we will see. Okay, so I just washed my little edges and yes, yes, yes. There's nothing better than laying edges while they're like completely clean, so I'm gonna do that, you know, once I'm actually styling my hair, cause I'm not going anywhere until then. But I'm about to do this last little section. And what I did was I braid my leave out part into the weave so that it just blends good and it's not just like natural hair weave, really obvious. So this is my hair, this is the weave, but I'm gonna just braid it together. And don't judge my little straggly pieces, y'all. Some of my lupus spots are still growing back in, so this is progress for me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna probably just put like some, a heavier product on it, or I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I'm gonna put on it once I style it. I'm gonna put some of this shine and jam like on the very top. Okay, y'all, your girl is done. This is how it's looking. Can't see the back, but 
Hopefully it'll be good enough. Let me count how many braids I did. So there's 14 braids all together. I really tried not to miss any pieces, but while I was counting my braids, I noticed that, of course, there's always the straggler, but will anyone really notice? Mm, I doubt it. So I'm gonna be back, y'all, at some time later today to take these out. And y'all, look at the time. Look at that. Uh, don't play with me. Uh, less than an hour. Okay, y'all, so it is 1 a.m. I just got out the shower and my hair is dry. So we are about to take it out. This is really so crazy because it seems like OD that I am taking this out at this time. But truly, y'all, I be up like late every night. But I'm not gonna lie, I am tired. But I got a lot done, y'all. I finished packing. Very, very productive day. Okay, crumps. So far, so good, y'all. The first one, at least. And it's soft. It's not like super crunchy. That's why I was glad I didn't put like too much product in it. And I'm not like even adding product on my hands or anything while I'm taking it out. Ooh, look at that, baby. Okay. I'm glad I did this style. I've never done this before, but this is cute. And I feel like it's coming out better than it would come out if I use heat. Honestly, I feel like a big part of it is the technique. Like, you have to do tight braids in order for it to be defined like this. And I'm not gonna like run my fingers through it too much. I'm just gonna kinda let it do what it do. But y'all, what's funny is that I was gonna keep them in until I got to our destination, you know, keep it on the plane and all that. But I was like, let me not be that ghetto black person that wears braids and looks a hot hot mess at the airport you know and then to go meet the airbnb people i'm like let me be a little presentable uh, it's not necessary that i keep the braids in so i decided to take them out from tonight this is cute this hold up let me turn the other light on real quick Y'all see this? That is bomb. Oh my god. Yes, ma'am. I wonder how long this is gonna last. This is so cute. So majority of the braids are undone. It's looking real cute. I will say this one big braid that I had right here, you can definitely see the difference in like the sizing. Um, but it's okay because I made this one that's covering it smaller. And also like this side of my hair is just bigger anyway. So I'm going to have this kind of tucked back regardless so you won't be able to tell. So it all just kind of mixes together and blends together anyways. I think I was really just tired of looking busty. Like I be coming on here looking all types of way in front of y'all. <laughs> But when the baddie comes out, the baddie comes out. Now, if this came out not cute, I wouldn't be saying nothing. <laughs> I would just be like, yep, this is how it looks, y'all. But I'm really hyping right now because I'm happy it came out cute. I feel so free. Like it's like it's one of those like perfectly imperfect hairstyles. I know I sound like a <laughs> I'm trying to be a poet right now, but so. All right, and now we wait on edges and makeup in sunlight. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed this hair video. Thank you all for watching. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, Navy. Mm -hmm.